Hey guys, Brad FF7 here, and I'm gonna be bringing you guys a video of Minecraft. Um, this is just gonna be a let's play of Minecraft, I guess. However, we're gonna do this, so let's just create our own world. Let's call it World One One. I don't know how seeds work and everything, so I'm not gonna use them because that would be dumb if I didn't know how they work. Even though I heard you can like make yourself spawn places and get the same world as other people, but I don't really care. And we are just spawned in a great location. Well, actually, this isn't bad. Uh, okay, we got coal right here. So, okay, so for people who haven't played this game before, what it's all about is just you pretty much go out and you do everything in the game. You have to find your own wood, you have to find your own coal, and you have to build everything from the ground up. There's some octopus out there. Octopi, my apologies. So now we're just getting some wood so we can start building stuff. Because wood's always the first thing, because wood's going to be the main resource. Well, I mean in the beginning at least. No, you're going to need wood the entire... Crap. That's how they hit right. Okay, so after we got all the wood off this tree, let's go back down to where we saw that coal. Oh. Oops. I think over by here is where we're gonna make our first. Uh, let's see, what are what are we on? No, let's be on normal. Um, yeah. So, I think this is where we'll make our first house. Let's just start digging out right here. And what it does is, there's the sun, which you cannot see because I'm like in a mountain thing. But when it sets and turns night, these bad guys come out. They're called creepers, and they come in mobs. And when that happens, uh, it's never good. Okay, so... Yeah, we got all the stuff we want, so let's build. Open our inventory. We want to turn these wood into wood planks, so that we can use them. And you right-click to put one down. Oops, I put two there. And we're going to get a crafting table. If I can pick that up. Now with this crafting table, we can go... We can have more than one, um... I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So let's get eight and eight, and let's make wooden sticks. What we're gonna use that for is nothing because I'm an idiot. Uh, we gotta go back and get more wood because I screwed up. Oops. What that would originally be for is you're gonna make like tools and sorts. So we are going to need something to make the tools out of. And yes, I'm beating up this tree with a flower. Okay. Lots of wood. The game starts off very slow because you gotta start off. But I like the beginning. Because that's like the adventure and you're racing against time to get a shelter built before um, it turns night or you're gonna get your ass kicked. Okay, so now we got some wood. Let's just go get a little bit more just for... Just because we need to. Uh... Did you hear that? That's a pig. There's a pig. And then we can kill pigs. And what they drop is they'll drop, like, um, pork, I think. Yep. So... Ah, <sighs> just so much getting wood. This is what a lot of the game is going to consist of, folks. So I'll try and figure out how to get rid of these long, boring segments. But in the beginning, I want to show everything. But for right now, you have to watch it. But later in the game, like when I'm trying to clear out a whole underground area, I won't make you viewers watch. I'll just off-screen it. And, you know, 16's enough, because we'll have 64 wooden planks. Okay, so let's head back. Uh, can we see the sun? Yeah, there's the sun. See, it's about, um, it's about high noon. So, we gotta start heading hey. back. Oops. See, my life in the bottom, those hearts. If you run out, you die. And I just dropped from a high enough place, so I lost some health. Gotta make wooden planks first. Okay, now we put two of these sticks. And to make something, you kind of like want to draw what you want to have. So see how I got a pickaxe? I kind of made like a pickaxe shape. Um, now I want a shovel. And I think we'll be good for now. So let's just start clearing out this area. 
This is coal. You see how, like, that's cobblestone, and this is coal. They're both valuable materials. Well, coal is a lot more valuable. But you'll be using cobblestone a lot, too, so. Well, you'll just have a lot of cobblestone because you'll be mining out dungeons, and dungeons will just give you lots and lots and lots and lots of... Let's break down our um, our uh, crafting thing so we can put it in here once our house is built. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we have some coal, so now we're going to need to make torches for light when it gets dark out. And the other thing is uh, the bad guys will not spawn where there's light, so you want to have your house like very well lit. Because if you don't, they're going to spawn, like, inside of it. And that would be pretty bad. Uh, let's fill up here. we got to dig this out. Yeah, so now we're just building a simple shelter to get us by for the first night. Okay, so. Let's just build that out. But that makes me mad. Okay, let's put two of these on each side. Where are we looking day-wise? Okay, there's the sun, so we're still at about high noon, so we got a lot of time. Um, but still, you don't want to waste time. Um, okay, let's just. And now there's um, three different types of enemies. There's, well, there's four. There's actually there's a lot more than four, but like the main ones. There's um, there's creepers. There are these like green-looking guys. There's zombies. And there's skeletons and um, spiders. The thing is, every one of them, um, you should be safe in this little house, except from the skeletons because the skeletons can shoot um, can shoot arrows at you. So that would be a problem. So can I find wool before the end of the night? Because I can make a bed, which would make life a lot easier. Oh, somebody messaged me on Facebook. Now what I'm looking for is I'm looking for wool to make a bed, because if I can make a bed, I see something, nope, that's just, and see, this is like the entrance to like an underground cave, which we shall be going to soon. Um, 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 um. Uh, yes, there's sheep. Sheep is what I'm looking for. I need to kill three sheep, or however many it takes to get wool. I got one wool. I'm looking for three before nightfall. I doubt I'll find it. I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm not. I don't know. I might. I can't tell. <coughs> I sneezed. Okay. Well, the sun is setting. So, let's just grab some wood before on our way back. And then let's go make some better tools. While we're at it, on the way back. I don't care if Danny messaged me. Stop telling me, computer. Oh! Oh, oh try not to die. some more, more torches for extra light and where's our crafting table let's make our crafting table in the back let's put it in the back okay let's make a you know what? since we're going to be making three tools let's put three of these so we don't have to redo that let's make a pickaxe yeah you hear that music that means night's coming Actually, I have no idea. I've actually never had the music on in this game. But I'm going to guess that means night's coming. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to want to build the actual shelter now. And this is how we do it. Just make a little thing like this. So you can see out, but enemies can't get through. Let's go make a sword, too. Just for protection in case one does get in. Okay, that 
that music got really loud. See, now we have a sword. And I'm gonna destroy this just so I can get out and do some more stuff before it's on. And so we're just at about nightfall, so I'm just gonna grab some sand. Sand will be useful later in the game when we need to make glass for our bigger buildings, but other than that, sand's not really useful. So I'm just, oh, I hit water, so let's just head back. Now, oh, see how nightfall is coming? Okay, let's get back to our house. And let's put down our thing, and we should be good for the night, so you can either stand at the door and kill any creepers that come close enough and you could hit them and the way you would want to do that is when they're out there just do a attack and back up and then come back and attack and back up that's the simplest method or you could just go afk for the night back here and you would be perfectly fine and actually if we wanted to we could make a glass so we could see them let's see if we can do this Let's just hope we don't hit a dungeon. Not a dungeon, but like a cave, because that would be really bad. Okay, and we got it. This is not something you have to do on your first night, but hey, why not? You can watch what's happening from the safety of your little hut place. So what you want to do is you want to get coal, and you want to put sand... And what that does is this is a furnace, so you need something hot. You can either use coal or a bucket of lava, and then things that can be turned into um, items are sand, cobblestone, iron, gold ore, all that good stuff. It does take some time, though, so. Yep, and I'll see how we can stay back here. We're safe. And we're good. <clears throat> Let's grab some more glass. Let's just finish off a little thing. Let's make it look nice. And this is our house that we will not be staying in for long. Probably only the first few nights of the game. This is just a place we'll return to when it's safe. I mean, when it's dark out. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all. Let's, I'm going to pause and see if we can get any creepers to come. I'm still waiting. I don't know. Maybe it's because we're by water or stuff. But now it doesn't look like... Am I on... Yeah, I'm on the normal. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah, I guess that's all we'll do for the first night. Let's just build up our little structure a little bit more. There you go. Okay, you know what, just for the fun of it. Let's build a hole. You see how I made a door right there? I put, it was three by two. So I made the door. I don't know why I just made another one, but who cares. And there we go, we have a little door now. Let's put a little cobblestone above it. And there you go. Our first little house. Okay. So next episode, we'll try and start going down into deeper areas and see if we can make a bigger and better shelter. This is Brad FF7. See you later.